Hi, I'm Joey with Husky Towing, and today we're going to go over the installation of our new Centerline FS Hitch. First step, we're going to take some measurements of the trailer in front of and behind the axle to make sure our trailer is level. That'll give us an accurate coupler height. Next, we're going to measure the truck. We're going to measure the front and rear wheel wells. We want a reference point of what this truck sits like before the load is applied. Next, we're going to move on to installing the head assembly. We're going to insert our shank and our pin, as well as our clip. Next, we're going to install the head assembly onto the shank. Now, obviously, there's some, there's some different adjustments here. We want to make sure that we set this to the correct height, which is approximately one inch higher than your coupler when this trailer is level. To do so, we're going to loosen this lower set bolt and go ahead and slide the hardware through. Before we tighten everything down, we're going to go ahead and check our measurement to make sure it's where we need it to be. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and tighten the set bolt, quarter turn. Follow that by setting the jam nut. We're now going to tighten the two bolts to spec. Next, we're going to install our frame mounted brackets. We're going to take a measurement from the coupler and place the bracket in the appropriate location specified in the measurements required in the instructions. We want to make sure that the back bracket has the single hole facing up. And when we install the lower hardware, we want to make sure we, we use the hole on the bracket we can to make sure that our hardware is as close to the frame on the top and bottom as possible. We are also going to use the supplied hardware, the flat washer and the lock washer on the top. We're then going to torque these two to spec. We're going to repeat this process on the other side of the trailer. For the next step, we need to determine the height that the bars need to ride. How we're going to do that is we're actually going to take one of the bars, we're going to pull this pin here, slide this bar up, and repin it. While we're here, we want to make sure that this bar is well attached and, and secured into the socket. Next. We're going to take a measurement. Now, this may need to be adjusted later, but a good rule of thumb is where the flat starts on the bar, we want to take a measurement there, and we want to replicate that measurement on that bracket to try to keep these bars as level as possible when hooked up. Again, we may have to adjust this at a later time. We're going to repeat that step on the other side of the trailer. Also supplied with the kit is a lift tool. Put that together, we're just basically going to slide that together here, drop in the supplied hardware, the flat washers, the lock washer, and the nut. Before backing up the truck and coupling it up, we're going to install the other bar. Again, make sure it's completely inserted. Insert the pin and test to make sure that that's secure. Next, we're going to go ahead and back the truck up and couple the trailer. We're going to go ahead and lower the trailer down and secure the coupler. We're going to bring the truck and trailer up until these bars are able to be installed on these lift brackets. Sometimes this can be done even without the lift tool. If it's necessary to use the lift tool, you're just simply going to insert this hook into the square hole on the hitch, bring the bar over as close as possible, and just simply lift until the bar snaps into place. We're then going to insert the L bracket and the pin, making sure it's secure. We're going to repeat this process on the other side. Once the bars are secured on the saddles, we're going to go ahead and lower the trailer. Once we're sure the load is completely on the truck and the hitch, we're going to take a measurement here to find out if we're still within those same measurements we started with. We're going to measure the rear wheel well, the front wheel well, and then we're going to check the trailer for level. We're right where we need to be. 
Now we're ready to pull test.